Live from NBC4, this is the Channel 4 News at 5. This coming Friday, NBC and other networks will simultaneously air a one-hour musical extravaganza to raise money for cancer research. And some of the most important research is taking place right here in Southern California. For example, Herceptin, now being used without chemotherapy. Dr. Bruce is here tonight to introduce us to one of the very first women to get the original treatment here, Dr. Bruce. That's right. We've been following her over the course of this last decade, and things have really changed. People know that Herceptin had good and bad sides when it first came out. As Paul said, we spoke to one of the first who got this breakthrough treatment, and 10 years later, right now, she's not only surviving, she's taking survival to new heights. As a world-class athlete, Louise Cooper has hiked through jungles, traversed swift rivers, and climbed towering summits. And when she found out in the prime of her life she had a very aggressive form of breast cancer, her athletic training kicked in. I made my treatment my race. I turned my chemotherapy treatments into my checkpoints. Luckily, at the time, an experimental drug called Herceptin was being tested on patients with HER2 breast cancer. Herceptin was a revolutionary therapy that attacks the cancer cells and leaves healthy cells alone. This approach is to figure out what's broken in the cell and treat that specifically. You have something that is more effective and less toxic. Scientists at UCLA, who were among the pioneers who fought to get the drug approved, are now using it in combination with other biological treatments, such as Avastin, to help women beat cancer without chemotherapy. All of the old problems we had, hair loss, nausea, vomiting, suppression of the bone marrow, has all gone away with this new wave of targeted therapy. Some women who have taken Herceptin are now living at least 50% longer than they might have without the drug. After her surgeries, Louise underwent weekly Herceptin treatments for a year. And today, 10 years later, she's cancer-free and ready to take on her next challenge, a race in Antarctica this winter. I do have a fire in my belly, and I, the only way you can extinguish that is by doing what you said set out to do. Now she's certainly doing that, as we are. Paul Colleen and I will be part of Stand Up to Cancer, the first network special to air on all major broadcast outlets. Cancer Cures take years of research and funding. The special will be hosted by Brian Williams and other network anchors, stars, and numerous recording stars and actors. Stand Up to Cancer, this Friday on NBC at 8 p.m. More than a dozen of the biggest female recording artists will perform, including Mariah Carey, Beyonce, and Sheryl Crow. And as I told you, Paul Colleen and I will be here as well. Because you, there's not a soul who doesn't know someone who's been affected by cancer in one way, shape, or and form. And it takes years to get the funding and research through. We're going to try to help that, as you are, by being part of this Friday night. Be part Dr. of Bruce. it. Okay? Thank you, Dr. Thank Bruce. you. LAPD.